Mark, what are some options that parents have to cut things off at the pass, negotiate scheduling problems before it gets out of hand? So a lot of it's going to depend on where things are. If you're in the middle of litigation, first thing is to call your attorney. Okay. Mm -hmm. If uh, depending on where you are in litigation, uh, if a parenting facilitator um, is in place or a parenting coordinator is in place, you might want to utilize them to try to resolve it. It's going to be a, a whole lot less expensive than dealing with lawyers. Mm -hmm. If it is after the fact, okay, so the the Satcher order has been entered or uh, the divorce decree has been entered. If a parenting facilitator or parenting coordinator has been appointed in that case, utilize them to do that. If you're concerned because it is really kind of a big event, reach out and call your lawyer, or if you weren't, didn't like the lawyer you used before, call a lawyer that you can trust and sit down and talk to them and say, here's what's going on, here's what my concerns are. And they can walk you through it, you know, and ought to be able to provide a couple of different options about, you know, A, B, and C, you know, how risk averse are you, how bad is, you know, is everything as bad as you think it is? And what's the best way to do that without really kind of drawing the ire of the court when you have to go back in front of them? Right. And working it out nicely with the other person the first time might make things better the second time. That is. But, you know, here's the thing to remember. Generally, people get divorced for a reason, right? That's right. It's, <laughs> so, That's right. So, so we understand that everything isn't always hunky-dory. Reach out and talk to somebody. We can walk you through, you know, what all your different options are and everything a lot of the times, a lot of those options just aren't that rough. Call Marcus, Scroggins Locker.